So in question four, we are asked to copy the data, including the headers of the cheapest proposal previously identified using conditional formatting and transpose it into a new worksheet called max installment. So the first thing we're going to do is to make a new worksheet called max installment. Then we go back on a proposal worksheet and we know that the green one is the cheapest proposal. So we're going to select all, copy, go on the max installment worksheet, and now we have to paste special and transpose it. So there you have it. Then they ask us to remove from the worksheet any existing conditional formatting rule. So you go to conditional formatting, manage rules, this worksheet, and then you remove it and you remove it. Click on OK. Obviously, remember to always save your document. If you go back on proposal, you see that the conditional formatting is, is still there, so it only removed it from this worksheet. And there you are for the first part. Then they tell us that because of some temporary financial difficulties, Bright Sun Corporation would consider the possibility of buying a less expensive machinery in order to be able to lower the amount of the, month, the monthly installment. And they ask us to calculate what should be the amount of funding required to lower the current amount of the monthly installment to 600 euros. To do that, we are going to use the goal seek. So once again, you go in the what if analysis, click on goal seek, and we want to set cell B7 to a value of minus 600. So remember that you have to put the minus because every time we're considering a value that is written in red, it's actually a negative value. And we want to do that by changing the funding required so it's the principal. So you click on OK, it's gonna open this, you click on OK, and it automatically changed the principal in order for the monthly installment to be 600. And we're done for question four. So now we move on to question five. And we're told that as a part of a social responsibility program, a sample of 20 employees with different qualification was selected and asked to estimate the monthly amount that they would be willing to donate to a project of social solidarity. The results of the survey are contained in the worksheet focus group, so here. And we're asked to create a new worksheet called analysis, in which we want to calculate the average monthly amount that would be donated for each qualification. So first of all, we want to copy the qualifications. So you go here and then you copy them and you go on to data to remove duplicates so that you have each qualification only once. Now we want the average monthly amount. And in order to do that, we're going to use an average if function. And we want this range here to be equal to this one here. We don't need the analysis. And now we're going to calculate the average between this range here. Remember to block those ones so that when you drag down the formula still holds. And now you're done. And you can drag it down. Obviously, you can make it a bit more readable by adding or taking away some decimals. So this should be fine. And since we're talking about euros, we can put it in the currency of our choice, which is euros. So now we're asked to create a graph to represent the obtained results. So we just select what we need, insert, graph, we add a title, average monthly amount, and that's it. So now for the last part of question five, there is another part of the social responsibility program, which basically is made in order to support children of the employees. And the campaign would allow the creation of a fund generated by a voluntary payment by mothers-to-be of 30 euros per month, on top of which the company would also add an additional 30 euros. And the total amount would be paid on a monthly basis at the end of each month for 18 years. So in a new worksheet called investment that we create right away, we need to compute what it would be after 
eight years, the value of the investment calculated based on an annual interest rate of 3%. So first of all, what we need is to write all the information we have. So first of all, we have the annual interest rate. Then we have the length in years. Then we have payment, monthly payment by mothers and the monthly payment by the firm. So we have the total monthly payment and we want to compute the total investment. So now we're going to add the values that we have. The annual interest rate is 3% over 18 years. This is minus 30. Remember, it's a payment, so it has to be negative. Minus 30 again. This is equal to the sum of the previous ones. And this is what we need to compute. So in order to compute this, we're going to use the future value function. So the rate is this one that we have to divide by 12 because we want the monthly rate that has to be paid 18 times 12 since 12 months in a year. The payment is total monthly payment. Then we don't need to write anything in there. And we were told that it's in the end of the period. And there we go. We have the total investment we need. Last but not least, we're asked to apply the appropriate formatting. So we're just going to make it a tiny little bit clearer. Select it. Then you use literally the colors that you prefer and the presentation that you prefer. It's just to make it more clear and more pleasant when you open it. And you do that for every worksheet. And then you're done. I hope it was clear and helpful. Thank you.